Greetings everyone, Bansal Kram Music here. This video is part of my quick tip series. I thought I would do a few videos on how to produce retro style presets in Avenger. I would say the focus of VPS Avenger is not on retro, it's on more modern EDM and that's where I think it excels. But I still think it's pretty good at doing retro style sounds. So here's my first video on giving you some tips on doing that. There'll probably be two or three more videos in the future on this same subject. Okay, so what's the first tip? Okay, so the first tip I would probably give you is don't simply choose the default saw wave. Choose a waveform that has some imperfections in it. One of my favorite uh, presets for creating analog sounds in Avenger is through a waveform called Andro Saw. Okay, so what's the reasoning behind this? The reasoning behind this is that in the old days, the old synthesizers, the retro synthesizers, ran on voltage, and that voltage was not always stable. So it actually produced unstable waveforms to a certain level. And you can see here in the Andro saw that there is some imperfections in the waveform. So that'll be my first tip. If you're looking to create a retro preset, try and look for a retro style waveform. The second tip would be to make sure the number of voices is, the voice mix is turned right down. So there's no voice mix there to produce a more retro style, simple sound. And the third tip for today is to slightly detune it. On the fine tune knob here, uh, right click, hold the mouse down and drag to the left hand side to give it a slight detune. So it's slightly off tune. Again, with retro presets, um, there, are, there are two words which I think we should keep in mind. Instability and imperfection. So an imperfection would be that it's very, very slightly off tune. You could even create a second oscillator. Right click this and copy. Copy the same oscillator over and paste it in here to have the same settings and then right click and drag and tune this slightly to the right. Okay, so those are my three tips for today. We've looked at choosing an imperfect waveform. We've looked at making sure the voice mix is right down. And we've looked at using the fine tune knob to take it off tune slightly. Okay, I hope that's been helpful to you. In the coming weeks, there will be two or three more videos on this exact subject. So stay tuned for those. Okay, hope you found it helpful. If you have, click subscribe and the like button. And look out for more quick tips, sound design tutorials, and music sketches. See you next time. Cheers.